Shakespeare once said that there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Some people believe this. Every day we see evil men that command in faith. Every day, good men live like rebels and are cast as evil by the very people they save. As for me, I don't believe it. Deep within the truth, I know that there's true good and evil in the universe. I've seen it. Can good and evil be confused? Yes. But that doesn't change the fact that evil is always there, waiting, watching. The only thing we can do is fight it when we can. What's up, Grand Star Legion and YouTube? Stormstriker SX9 here with another Stormstriker SX9 presents Spooktoberfest 2021. The next game I will be playing is called RLH, better known as Run Like Hell. Run like hell. Hunt or be hunted. So this game is a survival horror game. Survival action horror game. You can find this game on the PS2 and the original Xbox. There is not a PC version of this game, I don't believe. I will check to make sure. This game might be on the GameCube as well. I'll have to check that as well. Um, but yeah, I will be playing the PS2 version of this game. When I originally owned this game in the past, it was actually the original Xbox version that I had. But I ended up getting it used from Blockbuster. It was one of the Blockbuster games that I got. It, the disc was rather used and stuff, and not in good shape. It wasn't very playable when I got it, so I didn't get I didn't really get to get to experience very much of that game back then. But now that I found the PS2 version of this game, I can revisit the game all over again. And yeah, um, but as you can see by the cover of the box. You might think that this is an alien universe type of game, but it is not, even though the alien on the cover looks like the alien from that those movies. Uh, a totally different thing, so yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this game, shall we? Um, new game you got a tutorial here and we got chapter one I think we're gonna do chapter one I'm gonna skip the tutorial chapter one light into darkness by the pricking of my thumb something wicked this way comes Macbeth 
Act 4, Season 1. Scene one. Mac <coughs> Macbeth. That's one of Patrick Stewart's favorite Shakespeare's. Captain, you're late. Tell that to the broken elevator, sir. Be that as it may, we need the shuttle back by 2100 tonight. Will do. We should be back before that. What is that guy? He's like a Don't lizard think creature. This is an excuse to get out of my lesson. I wouldn't dream of it. I love you, you know that? Yes, but it doesn't mean I don't like hearing it. I love you too, Hotshot. Until the end of time, remember? Until the end of time. Okay, smooch smooch. You have a safe trip. See you soon. The sooner we leave, the sooner you'll get back to her, lover boy. Let's get going. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Captain Connor, private journal. I usually don't record days, but there isn't much else to do while I wait. Amanda and I have spent a day out in the asteroid field cutting up rocks and getting soil samples. It's pretty routine. We talk mostly about the wedding and about other things. I should be completely relaxed, but I'm not. It's like I have this damn itch on the back of my neck that's keeping my nerves on edge. At the end of the war, right before the necklock attacked, that same itch warned me that something nasty was coming. I can only hope that this time it's wrong. Versetti Station, this is Shuttle 1. Permission to dock. Versetti Station, this is Shuttle 1. Please respond. Nick, what's wrong? I don't know. Communication array probably went down again. You don't sound very convincing. Uh oh. Hello. Invasion on the station. Okay. All right. Okay, that's the menu, the auto map, and the journal. Goals, saving, okay, what we got here? Well, the system's still up. Hold on. Oh! What the hell happened here? Let's see what the cameras tell me. Come on, come on, come on. Amanda, you okay? I'm fine. That just... This can't be happening. Just get a hold of somebody! Okay. 
we're gonna have to run like hell. To move left or right, use the left analog stick to hit triangle to jump over an, op an obstacle and, and press X to go under an obstacle. Okay then. Run like hell again. This is what they mean by run like hell. For the love of all that is poopy. Just go. Where'd you go? Move it before any of his friends show up. Oh, you shot me. What happened to the override chip on the gun? It's my own personal weapon. Jackson Trepp don't use those human chips in their guns. Okay, but now the important question is, what are these bastards? I'll tell you on the way. We don't want to stick around here. Why? That's why. The thing might break through. Here, take this. Wow. You received two hype small hypos and one rifle. You hear that? This is why they call this game run like hell. There's gonna be instances where you're gonna have to run. Like right now. Or shoot. Like the instant instance earlier, we were running like hell. We had to press button sequences to jump or basically slide. Yeah. Some sometimes those are very intense. Hello. What are these things? I'll tell you on the way to the guard post set up an ops base there. 
Let's move it. I can't tell you much. After you left, a supply ship docked with the station. Just like every other time. Except this time it unloaded these damn nightmares. Those things? Yeah. I've seen two types so far. I call them brutes and cutters. Let me guess. The thing you tried to send into space was a brute. You got it. And the thing we took down, that's a cutter. They're all blades and spikes and have a real sadistic streak. But at least they can be killed. You're telling me that a Gauss rifle can't take out a brute? I lost 12 of my men taking one down. That was with anti-personnel rounds. Holy mother! While holding R1 to aim, use triangle to push or kick creatures away from you. I need to find something to pry the door open. This is... Oh! Checkpoint! Okay. Dead yet? <laughs> we got here health kit. key card that could probably come in handy Shotgun clips. I think you get the idea of this game now.
obviously won't work. I'm gonna make an emergency save here. Uh, this is going to be one of those games where you're probably going to be saving quite often as well. Would you just shoot? That's a lot of damage. You done yet? All right. Oh, hell no. He just played possum. to save it again. I need to find something to pray the door. the door closed behind me. Great! We all know where that's gonna lead to. Door closes behind you and then you can't go back. Oh boy. Um, 
we might be able to go back, but we're probably going to be getting chased to get back there. So what do you guys think of this game so far? I wonder, have any of you played this game before or ever heard of it? Or is this your first time hearing this, hearing about this game just now? I mean, this game came out back in 2002, almost 20 years ago. This game will be 20 years old next year, so... It would be nice if they were to somehow remaster this game or even remake it. Even though this game was made by Interplay. Sometimes Interplay's games does get remastered by a different company. Usually, uh, I've been seeing Night Dive Studios uh, remastering or remaking some of their games as well as other classics um but yeah what is this button sequence what is that for Go that way. Who's over here? Oh, of course. Interesting. Oh, is there something in here? This is the control room for the maintenance bay and the offices. If I need to do anything, I can probably route it through here. this oh this door is like it might be I might be able to open it on remote also locked okay a garbled net message is on the computer. Storage room B. Authorized personnel are allowed in the area. Man, okay.
Ooh, what's this? Ballistic damage clip. All right. Hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> okay. Health kit. What do we got here? Um, an, a net message on the computer. Once again, we had to change the code to storage room B. The new code, door code is. Oh. Interesting. What's here? This door has been jammed, probably on purpose. Too bad it didn't keep the creatures out.
open the bomb bay doors. Okay, we can go back. I thought the doors were, to, were closing on me from behind. You know, one of those situations where if you go there, you won't be able to go back. Yeah, that gives me uh, Doom 3 vibes right there. Okay, I'm going to save it again. And I think I'm going to end it here as well. Um, yeah, we didn't fight any bosses or anything, but the beginning of the game, we got chased by a brute and we fought some of the... I guess, he called them blades or whatever. They have bladed arms and stuff, sort of like a praying mantis or a scyther or whatever. Anyways, um, it, hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, please remember to click that like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. Also, make sure to click that notification bell to know when I upload new videos on Grand Star Legion, as well as my main channel, Storm Striker SX9. I will be putting a link to my main channel in the description below as well. If you want to check out my videos over there, you can. I will also be doing my own Spooktoberfest of game videos on my main channel as well. So, yeah. Um, also, hope you guys enjoyed RLH, Run Like Hell. Remember, you can get this game on... PS2 and original Xbox. You could probably find it at your local retro game store or online on Amazon and eBay. You know, wherever you find the retro games and stuff these days. Anyways, I am Stormstriker S69 and I will see y'all next time. Happy gaming! And, uh, don't get too scared now. There's more coming!